The video you're about to see that I made is about a, a male officer that was married to a female officer and he unalived her, then got assigned to the case and then tried to cover it up to make it look like she unalived herself. So I made this film to shine a light on police corruption how it does exist and it does happen and also made this film to shine a light on domestic violence and domestic abuse and i also made this film in memory of lieutenant lsa and um it's just a tragic tragic thing that happened and uh i made this film to for in her memory and um condolences uh to her friends and family and all that was involved my heart breaks for this this uh this woman officer um but yeah hope you all enjoy this film and if you found it compelling please leave a like share it and feel free to leave a comment as well all right let's get started if you crave the unknown but fear the dark then delphi after dawn is your sanctuary as the first light of dawn breaks through the night, we embark on a journey into the mysteries that chill the spine. I'm your host, Jason King, and together we'll explore the stories that lurk in the shadows. Each episode, we unravel chilling tales of unsolved crimes, police corruption, and heart-wrenching disappearances. Imagine a world where over 600,000 people vanished last year alone in the U.S leaving behind only questions and heartache. Violent crime is on the rise, and the shadows grow longer each day. By joining us, you become a beacon for the voiceless, a light in the darkness. Together, we'll shine a light on society's darkest corners, uncovering the truths that hide in plain sight. From the eerie silence of abandoned buildings to the bustling streets where secrets are whispered, we leave no stone unturned. Tune in to Delphi After Dawn, where understanding is just a story away. Join us and let the journey begin. As we delve deeper, remember that every story has a heartbeat, a pulse that connects us all. We navigate through the labyrinth of human experience, seeking answers and shedding light on the unknown so prepare yourself for a journey like no other where every revelation brings us closer to the truth delphi after dawn is more than just a podcast it's a community of seekers united by curiosity and compassion together we can make a difference one story at a time. Join us and let the journey begin anew. This former Orange County Sheriff's deputy sits in jail accused of shooting and killing his estranged wife, a sheriff's office lieutenant. Thanks for joining us here at 5 on Fox Local. I'm Manny Martinez. Anthony Shea was supposed to face a judge in court this morning, but as Fox 35's Matt Treza reports, it was a no-show. Former Orange County Sergeant Anthony Shea didn't show up for his first appearance in Orange County Court. Deputies arrested him Friday for the first-degree murder of his estranged wife, Sheriff's Office Lieutenant Ella Wildeshay. Orlando Attorney Albert Yonfa isn't involved with the case, but says he's not surprised that Shea was a no-show this morning. In dealing with first-degree murder charges, Attorneys generally try and keep their clients out of the spotlight as much as possible. Earlier this week, deputies found Shea's estranged wife, Ella Wilda Shea, in her bedroom with a gunshot wound to her head. Sheriff's deputies believe Shea murdered her, then tried to make her death look like a suicide. They say he then used her cell phone to create an alibi for himself. Former Orlando Police Chief Orlando Rolone says the investigators did a great job getting to the facts. The homicide unit from the Orange County Sheriff's Office has done an excellent job in identifying the inconsistencies that led to the probable cause, which led to the arrest of the individual. So kudos to the uh, 
to the homicide unit for a job well done. Deputies say Anthony Shea resigned from the sheriff's office in August while under investigation for allegations that would have led to his termination. They say Shea had an affair which became the subject of an internal investigation. Shea's neighbors say the situation has left them stunned. A little shock because I know I've seen them a few times, but you know, they usually have a different shift of work as far as I know. So uh, one of them come in and the other one's leaving and who's mm-hmm. like that, it's hard. Law enforcement expert Dave Benson says he doesn't think the killing happened spur of the moment. It certainly sounds like there was a certain element of planning, uh, uh, you know, lies, uh, deception, trying to uh, manipulate evidence, which just makes it makes the whole situation worse. Yanfa says prosecutors may be weighing more accusations against Shea. At this point in time, all we have is the charges. Um, and we don't know what additional charges are going to be forthcoming as the investigation unfolds. In Orlando, Matt Trezza, Fox 35 News. The Orange County Sheriff's Office was stunned. Lieutenant Eloilda Ellie Shea, one of their own, was dead. Initial reports suggested a heartbreaking suicide. But something felt wrong. The evidence didn't add up. This was no suicide. This was murder. The community was devastated. Ellie was more than just an officer. She was a friend, a neighbor, a beacon of hope. As the investigation deepened, a horrifying truth emerged. The finger of suspicion pointed to someone unthinkable. Ellie's estranged husband, Anthony Shea, a former deputy himself. The idyllic facade of their life together crumbled revealing a sinister reality beneath. The betrayal cut deep, leaving everyone to wonder how someone sworn to protect could commit such a heinous act. Anthony Shea played the part of a grieving husband. He claimed Ellie took her own life. He spun a tale of despair. But investigators weren't buying it. The evidence told a different story a story of deceit and cold-blooded murder. A chilling piece of evidence emerged, an audio recording from Ellie's own phone. It captured the moments leading up to her death. There were no gunshots, no cries for help, only the sound of a struggle and then silence. The recording shattered Anthony's carefully constructed narrative. Text messages, sent from Ellie's phone after her death, further incriminated Anthony. He tried to create a false alibi, desperately attempting to cover his tracks. But the digital trail he left behind only tightened the noose of justice. Anthony Shea had once worn the badge of honor, sworn to serve and protect. Now he stood accused of the ultimate betrayal taking the life of another, and not just any life, but the life of his wife, a fellow officer. The Orange County Sheriff's Office was reeling. Whispers of Anthony's past misconduct began to surface. An internal investigation, hushed up and swept under the rug, revealed a man living a double life, an alleged affair, a breach of trust, painted a picture of a man unraveling. Anthony's actions tarnished the badge he once wore. He had broken the very laws he had vowed to uphold. His fall from grace was a stark reminder that even those entrusted with protecting the innocent are capable of unspeakable darkness. Amidst the shock and anger, the community remembered Ellie She was more than just a victim. She was a dedicated officer, a loving mother, a true friend. Her warm smile could light up a room and her compassion knew no bounds. Ellie had dedicated her life to serving others. She believed in the power of justice, in making her community a safer place. She treated everyone with respect and kindness always willing to lend a helping hand. Her colleagues remembered her infectious laugh, her unwavering dedication, 
and her ability to connect with people from all walks of life. Ellie Shea was a shining example of what it meant to be a true public servant. Section 5. Unmasking the Truth. The Investigation. The Orange County Sheriff's Office was determined to uncover the truth. They owed it to Ellie, to her family, and to the community they swore to protect. Every piece of evidence was scrutinized. Every witness interviewed. No stone left unturned. Forensic experts meticulously analyzed the crime scene. Detectives pieced together the timeline of events, carefully examining phone records, text messages, and surveillance footage. The investigation was a complex puzzle, each piece revealing a little more of Anthony's sinister plot. The Orange County Sheriff's Office worked tirelessly, their determination fueled by a shared sense of loss and a burning desire for justice. They vowed to expose the truth, no matter how painful it might be. Section 6, A Community United in Grief. The weight of Ellie's loss fell heavily upon the Orange County community. Candlelight vigils illuminated the night, casting flickering shadows of grief and remembrance. Flowers and messages of love adorn makeshift memorials, testaments to the impact Ellie had on so many lives. Neighbors shared stories of Ellie's kindness, of her willingness to listen, to help, to make a difference. Parents remembered her warm smile as she kept their children safe at school events. Friends recalled her infectious laugh and her zest for life. The community came together, united in their grief and their determination to honor Ellie's memory. They offered support to her family, to each other, drawing strength from their shared pain. Section 7. Justice for Ellie. A promise unbroken. The wheels of justice began to turn. Anthony Shea, once a protector, now stood accused of murder. The evidence against him was overwhelming. The web of lies he had woven unraveling with every new revelation. The Orange County Sheriff's Office, uh, working in conjunction with the State Attorney's Office, prepared to present their case. They were determined to hold Anthony accountable for his actions to ensure that justice for Ellie was served. The legal battle ahead would be long and arduous, but the pursuit of justice never wavered. Ellie's memory fueled their determination, a constant reminder of the precious life that had been taken. Section eight, a call to action breaking the silence on domestic violence. Ellie's tragic death served as a stark reminder of the pervasive issue of domestic violence. It was a call to action, a plea to break the silence and shed light on this often hidden epidemic. Domestic violence knows no boundaries, affecting people of all ages, races, genders, and socioeconomic backgrounds. It thrives in secrecy, behind closed doors, often masked by fear and shame. The Orange County Sheriff's Office, along with community organizations, rallied to raise awareness about domestic violence. They offered resources and support to victims, encouraging them to break free from the cycle of abuse and seek help. Section 9, Finding Hope in the Face of Tragedy. Even in the darkest of times, hope flickered like a candle in the wind. The outpouring of love and support for Ellie's family, the unwavering dedication of law enforcement, 
and the community's commitment to breaking the silence on domestic violence offered rays of light amidst the darkness. Ellie's legacy lived on, not only in the memories held dear by those who loved her, but also in the positive changes inspired by her tragic death. Her story became a catalyst for awareness, for action, for a future where domestic violence no longer cast its long, dark shadow. The journey ahead would be long and arduous, but the human spirit's resilience, its capacity for love and compassion, offered hope that healing was possible, that justice would prevail, and that Ellie's light would continue to shine. In a shadowy underworld of crime, where the ordinary meets the extraordinary, you've been journeying with me, Jason King. We've dissected the minds of some of the most notorious serial killers, peeling back the layers of their darkest secrets. Every shadowy corner we've turned, every chilling confession we've analyzed, has been a step deeper into the abyss. But remember, the abyss also gazes back so, brace yourself as we prepare to dive even deeper. Next time, we'll unravel a tale so twisted it will make your spine tingle with anticipation. An enigma so intricate it will have you questioning everything you thought you knew. Until then, keep your eyes open and your mind sharp. This is Jason King, signing off.